So the mystery continues around the three unidentified flying objects shot down by the U.S. in the past week. So we want to bring in national security expert, former State Department Chief of Staff, Bill Smullen. Bill, so good to see you, and thank you for helping us uh, digest all of that, what we've been watching on the national front. Uh, you're most welcome. Thanks for having me. All right. We want to start out with NORAD. It was set up after 9-11 to monitor our airspace specifically. Did NORAD do its job this time around? Well, NORTHCOM was the, the command that was set up, not NORAD. Oh, NORAD's okay, been in okay. existence for uh, decades. Okay. Okay. It's a Canadian U.S. command gotcha. that thank they are responsible yeah. for monitoring everything that could fly over uh, America that is unwanted and interestingly NORAD uh, did not do its job in my view. Okay. Why? Well first of all they saw this balloon launch from Hainan Island uh, several days before it came over traversed over the United States. Now why didn't they track it? They didn't track it because it went too high. They're not responsible for things at the 60,000 foot level. They're responsible mm. for things where aircraft can fly. Mm. Now, I would just say to NORAD, imagine the unimaginable. Think, as we call it, think out of the box. Mm -hmm. What could happen next that I haven't thought about yet? And what should I be doing to make sure that Americans and America is completely secure? That's their responsibility. Mm on our behalf and they better be doing it because I think they in this case they failed. What are the, what are the chances we even recover the three unidentified still um, uh, flying objects that, that were shot down? Uh, we'll do that but yeah. unfortunately it's in very rough ter terrain mm -hmm. and the conditions are very harsh so it's going to be a while before we can get in there in Canada mm -hmm. and in uh, Alaska and even in Lake Huron but we'll do it. Yeah. And we've got one, uh, of course, the big one, the big balloon we've got, and we're going to analyze that until it can't be, an can't be analyzed anymore. We're going to figure this out. But I would think we're going to probably see that this was un uh, unintentional. Oh. I think the balloon was actually headed to Japan, and it blew off course, <clears throat> which balloons can do, yeah. and it ended up over the United States, and we panicked. And, you know, it's not good when you don't know what is above you or yeah. beyond you. And in this particular case, I think we failed, quite mm -hmm. frankly. And we're pro I don't think we're going to have to apologize, but we're going to have to do a heck of a lot better job in the future to make sure that this does not happen again. And what does this do with our relationship with China? Our relationship is in very bad straits mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. And, and the unfortunate part is, <clears throat> the Secretary of State Blinken had a meeting scheduled right. meeting with Xi Jinping right. Right. and it was uh, postponed. We need to reconstruct that relationship and the only way to do that is to sit down face to face like we're doing now and have an honest conversation. And this will be part of the conversation the next time they do. How can we share one another's uh, safe intentions so that we don't jump to conclusions about something that may not actually be dangerous to us. Uh, why, why do we seem to all of a sudden be finding these? Are they up there and we haven't been tracking them well? Are they all of a sudden appearing? What's what's going on here? Well, NORAD uh, has indicated that they were, were not, their radar was not mm. intended to monitor anything at that altitude. Okay. <clears throat> they have corrected that. Mm. What they uh, call a uh, domain surveillance gap which is Pentagonese speak for we blew it <laughs> we, we didn't get the job done we should have followed that balloon right. that was launched from Hainan Island we, we do reconnaissance all the time we spy on them yeah. they spy on us we spy on other countries they spy on us that is part of the terrain yeah. and so accept it but realize that when something is out there that is looking at you you know where it is, what it is, and what it intends to do. And I don't think we're doing a good enough job. Maybe this is a wake up uh, lesson for us. We got about 20 seconds left. What should the president be telling the nation about yeah. this? He has to be honest. If we blew it, if we didn't do everything, everything that we could have done, he needs to say, we're gonna do a better job. We just didn't follow through when that thing was launched uh, from Hainan Island. Uh, when I was at the State Department in 2001, 
we had a reconnaissance plane right off the coast of China that was knocked mm -hmm. down by a, mm -hmm. a Chinese fighter plane and the uh, Navy uh, crew had to stay on the island for about a week and a half until we negotiated the diplomacy of how to get them out of there. As it turned out, we had to disassemble the airplane to actually get it out in wow. pieces. Wow. And that took a great deal of diplomatic uh, relations, uh, you know, that was done at the State Department. I can't even imagine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, we could spend all, all evening, I think, yeah. on this. We appreciate your time. We're out of it uh, for now. But thanks for coming in and, and filling us in a little it's bit a on this. It's a pleasure to I really appreciate all your right. expertise. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you Bill. Bill.